What's up? This is take two of Table Flipping Board Games, the last um, intro. We had been going for about a minute before we realized that it wasn't even working. Uh, I'm Gillyweed, and this week we are playing Battlestar Galactica, the board game. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to figure out which two of us are going to be, or are Cylons, trying to sabotage the humans from actually winning the game. So, um, I'm here with four of my friends. You should know Game Face Killa and Ogre Yonder from the first episode with Robinson Crusoe, but we're also joined by Kitty Pims and Noob Face, which I've just been informed is not a French name. It actually just <laughs> is Noob Face. Um, and that is about it. Battlestar Galactica, let's do this. Take it away, Game Face Killa. Okay, so we are on the last ship, as far as we know, headed to Earth. Our homeworld's been just uh, recently destroyed by the Cylons, and we basically have to just do a bunch of damage control while we try to make our way to Cobol. Um, if you can see on your bottom, or on the left side of your screen, that is the objective card. Uh, we have to make a, a total of eight distance of movement. Every time we, we jump to light speed, uh, we move a certain number of distance, and if we can get to eight, and then jump one more time, we win the game as the humans. Now the Cylons are going to try to sabotage us and get our resource dials, which are at the top, either our fu fuel, food, morale, or population. If they can get any of those down to zero, we lose the game. Uh, the other way, Another way we can lose is if the ship is completely destroyed by taking six points of damage, uh, or th there are a couple other things they can do to uh, reduce us down, but those are the main two ways. Uh, I will be playing Lee, Apollo, Adama, uh, and I'll be player one and so I'll move my player character sheet over to my player window and you guys can do the same if you want to open your window it's up at the top there's a button that says players and then you just find the one that matches the player number that you selected uh, so player two you can go ahead and introduce your character and kinda take it away hello I am the old man otherwise known as William Adama the admiral or commander in this one commander Adama uh, yeah. Admiral, yeah. whichever. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless, I'm the military leader. Rawr. So I will take him away and put him in my player window. And you also take the Admiral card, which is here at the top of the ship. I yes! Think. Oh yeah, it is. I am the Admiral! Alright. Uh, so player three? I am player three, and I am Gaius Baltar, nice. Hanger of Robots. <laughs> Um, and, and yes, uh, so I will be a, a slender figure, I assume, or at least that's that's what everybody tells me. You know, um, <laughs> he's very. I didn't realize robot, robot love was so robot. controversial. But, yeah, he will most likely be a Cylon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you want to move know. your yeah, uh, player four. Okay, I'm player four, and I'm the president, Laura Roslin. Nice. Because being the president is the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's and that's about it. Uh, you also have this presidential card, which officially mm -hmm. bestows you the <laughs> office of the president, and you can put that <laughs> in your player window. Also, it basically yeah, gives you that. yeah, it basically gives you an extra a type of action you can do as president when it's your turn. All right. Okay. All right. And, uh, of course, I'm Ogre Yonder, <laughs> and I will be playing <laughs> Carl Hilo. Agathon. I just so. understood why you picked him. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> has nothing to do with the fact that he has some pretty good stats or an ability, or that I get to just get to sit out the f first round and, you know, drink some beer, because that's his downside. <laughs> I don't get to play the first round. Yeah, but your name is Carl. I know. And it's Ogre Yonder. Shh. It's awesome. <laughs> so when so, we accidentally call you Carl, it'll work. Just calling you your character name. <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay, so each uh, each one of us. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I pull out all of the. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I pulled out all of the right character tokens. Um, in the bottom, let's see. Le uh, on the bottom right of your character card, it should tell you uh, where you start in the game. And I start outside of the ship in a Viper. And 
than uh, everyone else? Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to start in the Admiral's quarters, yeah. I can move me. I'm in the President's office. My office. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will put That's you in there. Oh, so you're on the ship, right? Or the yeah, other she's actually yeah, she's on there. Yeah, the other ship, uh, Colonial One, is on the top of Gal Galactica. There's three uh, spaces up there. I see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Stations. Action stations. Condition one throughout the ship. It's not a drill. Repeat. Action stations. Action stations. Set oh my god, that's so That one's just showing up. <laughs> that's badass. <laughs> yeah, so there's an audio file that plays when you play Cylons on the board, and uh, which I just did. <laughs> and we have a initial setup of Cylons already on the ship. Uh, oh, Carl, I guess you could just... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Ogre, you could just put your <laughs> hey, it works. player token <laughs> on the uh, uh, <laughs> on your uh, player window for right now, since you're oh, out yeah. the first round. Yeah, right. get out of here. Hey, <laughs> working on it. Um, All right. Okay, so to start off with, everyone gets three cards of uh, from any of their skills that they want. Uh, so if you look at the bottom left of your character, you'll see that you get certain color types. Those all match up with certain skill characteristics, like I have tactics, pol uh, piloting, and leadership, or politics. So uh, other than the first player, everyone gets to pick three total cards, and they can be any combination of the colors that are normally available to you. Uh, so the easiest way to do this is if you uh, right-click on the type of card that you want and then select draw to hand and then once you have and then those will automatically go to your player window mm -hmm. and once you have three then you're set for the game you're ready to start so do I still get to draw even though I'm out the first round uh, yes you do you still get Sweet. three cards yeah all right And the card uh, decks obviously are at the bottom. Uh, yellow is mm -hmm. politics. Uh, those cards will help you with political situations that come up. Green in our leadership, they often let you give actions to other players and let you move players around the board. Tactics give us some kind of advantage in battles or die rolls. Piloting are obviously good if you're a pilot of a Viper uh, going around shooting ships, so I'll be good at that. And then engineering is good for fixing things, basically. <laughs> So and then there are there are lots of crisis cards that'll come up every turn, and you'll need certain types of colors to help us with the crisis. So I always say first time it's a good idea to pick kind of a mix of cards, <clears throat> but if you're a Cylon, you're trying to sabotage, so you want um, it might be good to have a mix. Throw people off your trail at first. Mm -hmm. But as I've said, until you kind of have a hang of how the um, the crisis system. The works. crisis, yeah, works. I would say, don't try to sabotage because it'll yeah. it, it may end up biting you in the ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Unless you're uh, unless you're me, in which case, you should watch the discussion afterward. <laughs> yeah. Because I have a different strategy. He does <laughs> have a ridiculous strategy. <laughs> We're not sure as to its validity, but he does. So I just uh, the first player. Uh, I'll be playing actually gets to draw their full hand since they're going so I'm going to go ahead and draw one tactics card two piloting and one leadership and one politics and so at the beginning of your turn the first thing you do is you receive all of the cards of the color that matches uh, on the bottom left plus the number so like if you have a one by tactics then you're gonna get one of those if you have a two by piloting like I do you'll get two cards two red cards uh, all right, so that's the first part of that. The next step is movement. At this point, you can move anywhere in the ship that you want to do an action. Uh, if, like, if for example, you are Laura Roslin, you want to come to the regular ship, you have to. If you want to go from Caprica One to Galactica or vice versa, you do have to discard one of your skill cards. So it takes a little bit of. It kind of signifies taking a little bit of time. I am flying in a Viper, however, so I'm going to use my movement to move up to the Cylon ships. And that is my movement phase. The next step is action. I can take one action. And in order to do that, uh, let's see. I will go ahead and, as my action, fire on one of the Cylon ships. And I believe I just have what to do get. You? 
Are you firing on the base star or the just one of the raiders? Just a raider, right? Yeah, because the raiders are really the only thing that can destroy the civilian ships. If you guys noticed, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this. Behind Galactica, there's two uh, rectangular tokens. Those are civilian ships, and we've got to try to keep the Cylons away from them because those being destroyed will reduce our resource dials in some way. So I'm going to take out the raiders first because they're easier to hit, and uh, those are the only things that can actually directly destroy the civilian ships. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, if I'm a Cylon, I could be lying to all of you and just, you know, randomly <laughs> picking a ship. But just what I what you do to uh, hit a ship is you roll the eight-sided die. There's a button at the top. A 1d8? Yeah. Got it. Perfect. And I only got a 1. <laughs> so <laughs> Base kill is a Cylon. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I uh, missed. I had to get a 3 through 8. Um, and now my turn is done, and you, what the next step is as I draw a crisis card. So, uh, Gilly, if you want to draw us a crisis card and tell us what terrible thing is happening. <laughs> Where do I draw those from? Uh, there hmm, is a. I see it. Yeah. You click cards and then crisis. Wait. There's a cards button at the top. You click that, and oh, then there's. Oh, cards. Yeah, and pick crisis. crisis. Got it. Um. Okay. Hangar accident. Battle uh, do fatigue. You wanna, I'm sorry, do you want to put it on the board? So people oh, can yeah. See it? I've just thought about that. How about that? <laughs> there we go. Metal fatigue. Old equipment. Cheap bits of metal snaps. Draws, drops a million cubit drone to the deck, kills 13 pilots, and lands seven more in the sick bay. So if we pass this, there's no effect. If we at least make it... Um, to seven, we lose one population, and if we fail it completely, we lose one population and we damage two vipers that are in the reserves. Oh. So two ships will be damaged. Where'd the card go? I'm sorry, it's I moved it to the, the middle. Oh. <laughs> so it's easy, like, so I make sure it's in the window so people can see it. Yeah. So, um, what's gonna happen is we can, for this one, the supports, piloting, and tactics cards, mm -hmm. so purple, red, and blue, all count as adding toward the effect. Right. So the other two, which are leadership, the green, and politics, which are the yellow, mm -hmm. those will count against it. Um, you can see in the numbers of the, the cards... Oh, in the top left? Yeah, in the top left of the actual color cards, it'll show you you've got like different numbers. Those numbers are how much it'll count toward there. So for instance, if you have a um, like the same card, but one is worth more than the other, you might keep the one that's not worth as much necessarily because you can actually use, if you're going to use it for its action, then you use the one that's not worth as much, if that makes sense. Um... And at the end, after everybody's played all their skill cards, we shuffle them up, which the game will do automatically, and then we total them up and see whether we pass the skill check or not. If we pass, then we have obviously no effect. If we at least get a 7, we lose just one population, but if we fail, we get below a 7, then we obviously have all of those terrible things happen. <laughs> The nice no, thing is, fail. yeah, <laughs> the nice thing is for the Cylons is that there are two random cards put in from the Destiny deck, and I'll add those right now. So these cards could be positive, they could be negative, but if they're negative, we don't know whether they were put in by a Cylon or by the Destiny deck. So that kind of helps hide the Cylons from from our view. Although there mm -hmm. are ways to narrow down and figure it out anyway, but mm -hmm. yep, which yeah. is yeah, <laughs> big part of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, so. Two cards have been added from the skill check. Starting with me, I have to add cards first since I'm player one. Mm -hmm. um, so I will add... And all you have to do to add a card to the skill check is just right-click on it. Um, and then there's a add to skill check button. Oh, there yeah. is. Yeah, move to skill check. Yeah, move to skill check. So I will move uh, two cards. You can't say exactly the number of cards that you mm -hmm. added. The Like how much total you added, but you can say like, if you helped a lot or a little bit. I think I helped a pretty good amount. So it says there's three in the skill check now. Yes, because I, I put two from the Destiny deck. 
So you only added one? I added one, but it was very helpful. Okay. Yeah. All right. It was, it was very helpful. Very helpful. Okay. <laughs> so now it's up to player two to decide if you want to play any cards or not. Uh, I guess since I'm going next, I can, I'll get a bunch of yeah. cards again. Mm -hmm. So I can also help quite a bit. So those of you with fewer cards can maybe conserve. Because mm -hmm. I'll help uh, move to skill check. All right. So yeah. she put in two, right? Or one? I put I put in two. Two, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so player three. Um... Mm. What are you doing, new face? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. I, I mean, <laughs> Cylon. It's it's no thinking. It's a ridi <laughs> ridiculous assertion, especially this early. Let's wait until we see see what happens. He's uh, already understanding why it's not fun to play Baltar. <laughs> uh, oh no! See that that that's the thing. I, I I love being controversial. Um, so <laughs> so since since I'm a badass, uh, I'm gonna get us out of this mess and. Uh, it contribute a card. All right. It's a trick. <laughs> it's, it is a trick. We're going to find yeah. out. Okay. So player four. Kitty Pims. What you um, got? To be completely honest, I'm really confused. Okay, so you, if you want to help out with the skill check, you're going to play a purple, red, or blue card. Um, and then that'll help us. I would say, honestly, if... I if, don't have any purple, red, or blue. Okay. Then, well, then you, yeah, you can't help. Yeah, oh yeah, you you're right. You are green. And, yeah. You are green. And so you might so, want to just stay out and say, "I'm not going to contribute." Because if you yeah, play okay. any cards, they'll be negative, and we'll know. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to contribute then. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah, which would be a smart move, whether you're a Cylon or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, All right. So Carl, I'm sorry, yep. Ogre. Same thing in this game. <laughs> you're right. Uh, so, I feel like we're probably going to make it, and. All of my cards are really good, mm -hmm. so I'm going to not contribute as well. Okay. We'll at least make the seven. I would hope. I think yeah. we'll make the seven. Even with the destiny deck, I think yeah, we'll make right. the seven. I think we'll, I think we'll be good. So. Yeah. Okay, so I believe that they are automatically. Carl's <laughs> yeah. Carl's <Hey>. a <laughs> <laughs> I believe they are automatically shuffled. So I'll put the positive ones next to the skill check that okay. help us, and I'll put the negative ones a little to the right. Ooh, so we had a negative. Positive. Positive. Ooh, another negative. So mm. those might be the Destiny deck cards, possibly. Two Destiny okay. deck cards. So it's possible that the Destiny deck put it... cards. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So if this blue is canceled out by those other two, then we're looking at seven or five. I'm sorry, eight. We have eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we didn't have a pass, but we only lost a population, so I'm going to move the population down by one. Do we? So, I could stop that from happening, but is population something that we really need to... I think morale is... Morale is the big one, right? right. Morale, generally, yeah. is how, how I've seen the most losses. Occasionally, it'll be like a fuel or a food as well. So, I, I would probably. save it until it's like we're, we're going to die, yeah. you know, from the loss. Alright, that sounds good. Okay. okay. By population. So I will I've discard all... I've rarely seen population kill us. Okay, so the, the last thing that happens is on the bottom left and right of the crisis card, it lets us know if there's any changes with the Cylon oh, fleet. Oh, shit. That's okay, I can still see it. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. thought you were done with it. <laughs> um, so the only thing that happens is a heavy raider has been added. Uh, it comes uh, out of the base star. God. So the heavy raider is Aww. bad if it makes it down to where the launch tubes are. It can put uh, Cylon raiders on our ship. Game's basically over. Yeah, which is bad. <laughs> um, yeah, the other thing is on the bottom right of the card, uh, there is a, just to kind of show everybody, there is a little blast icon, which basically is a jump icon. So that means that the jump track gets one step closer to us jumping, which yeah. we always want to see that. That's always a nice sign. It means we're progressing. Um, so now this is kind of where it stands at the end of my turn. And uh, once we jump, the Cylon ships go away. Right, right. Yeah, right. all the Cylon ships are wiped Until off. another one's at more are added from the Crisis deck again. So exactly. it's possible that we could jump and not see Cylon ships again for a good while. Right. It's just these initial right. ones we have to get away from. Right. Right. So for the, for those of you who are new and uh, um, or just just learning this, um, this is pretty much the way every turn goes. Mm -hmm. You. You do the exact. You, you do exactly this. You um, go through those steps, and then you want to try and advance the uh, the jump icon 
in order to jump and clear the board so that the Cylons that are on the board go away. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because you can't this, really kill them. It's you can't really kill so them. It's so hard to just kill and get rid of them. Yeah, yeah. which is why you know I, I had the option to pick a pilot, and actually, because I'm Hilo, I have a piloting, you're never going to see me in a ship because you just can't kill the Cylons. It's You have to jump away from them. It's basically the only option. Pretty, yeah, pretty much the only thing you end up doing is damage control. <laughs> right. Yeah, you can do a little yeah. bit of damage control, but mm -hmm. you cannot stop them. You right. have to jump away as fast as you can. So, yeah, and how many jumps is it to, to win? Uh, we'll, well, we just went up one on the jump track. Uh, we've got four more until we auto-jump, but it is possible to make a risky early jump, but mm -hmm. you risk population when you do that. You risk leaving some of your ships behind. <laughs> right. So, but, that's but, part and of the, 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 game, the game ends when we jump three eight. times? We have to jump a total of eight distance, and yeah. then... Oh, right, right. Yeah, and then one yeah. more time, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're up to player two. I believe it's the Admiral. It is me. All right, Gilly. All right, so I need to draw my cards. So I'm going to get to my player box. And let's see, I get two tactics and three leadership. Okay. Wow. They are all the same cards. Um, where are people at? Not on the board. Not very useful. <laughs> hey, Game Face, yes. got a question. Yeah. Um, so I'm out for the first round, like my entire, all the way to my turn, or is it just the first person's turn? Like, uh, I, I believe in, now? you skip your turn, and then the next time it comes back around to your turn, you right. get to go. Wow, that really okay. sucks. Are yeah, you last for player? Like, can he yeah. still play skill cards? Yes. Yeah. I took. Okay. Well, um, when he gets my turn, I will draw skill cards, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think All right. You yeah. Still so, do. so I'll be okay. I just can't like activate anything on the board, which is right. not that big a deal at the beginning of the game. Okay. So we'll be okay. All right. Sorry, Gilly. Okay. Um. So I guess what I will do. How difficult is it to kill a heavy raider ship? Uh, to kill a heavy raider. You with with to... weapons control. Yeah, yeah. Can't you fire on it? It's like it's pretty it... hard. I think it's like uh, Five, to three. kill a heavy raider, you have to get a seven or eight to destroy it. Oh yeah. Um, I can help with that actually. Help with the die roll. Yeah, I can help with the die roll. Okay. Uh, just to let new players know, there are certain cards that you might have skill cards that help with die rolls. They can help increase it the number or lower it so if anybody has something like that they can let us know mm -hmm. would it be My better to launch vipers or just to try to do weapons control I guess if I was at weapons control then somebody could executive order me possibly mm -hmm. yeah I've got uh, an executive order uh, All right. if, if we need yeah. so yeah if you move there then um, then he may be able to let you fire twice so yeah Oh, definitely. Um, there's an executive order disc ca card in the discard of leadership. If you guys want to like hover over it, you can see what in game face color you might do that so people can see what I'm talking about. But basically, yep. you can l allow someone else to take additional actions if you forego your actions, which is really cool. Um, so I guess I will... Are, do we want the heavy raider? Should I try to um, damage the base star? I do have, I do have the two nukes. Mm -hmm. Um, which is kind of shitty to use it in the first round, but it would guarantee taking out the... Base star? Yeah, the base star, which would keep it from launching anything else. Um. Something to consider. Sometimes, you know, we never use all the, lu the lukes. Mm -hmm. The nukes, sometimes we... Uh, we use them too early. I don't know. What do you guys think about using the nukes? We get two. I'd say uh, we can jump game. before it's going to do anything. Yeah, I would say we're not doing too badly. And the I don't know if we're going to jump before it does. Wait, before the base star hits us? Yeah, but it can launch a lot of stuff. I I don't know. It can, but I don't know. I don't think that it's going to do that much damage, honestly. Because, like, I mean, I've seen you know some of these things place like two base stars two heavy raiders and a whole fleet of you know regular ships mm -hmm. and i'd rather use the nukes on when we're in a situation like that okay okay what do you what 
Kitty and uh, Noob Face. Noob Face. Sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> the nukes basically just guarantee taking out a base star. So uh, I'd say save it. Um, and if I mean, are are we gonna? So I, I guess we should come to consensus on strategy. Should we try and push for jump, or should we try and go for combat? I'd say push for jump. Uh, I would say combat until we can jump. I'd yeah, say you're a Cylon. There's still two more steps. I like the idea of jumping. <laughs> this is yeah. Well, there's still two more steps until we actually get to where we can even risk a jump. Okay, and and yeah. th do those steps progress per uh, per each player each turn, player, yeah. or is it yeah. full per, cycle for so each it's, player, it's turn. player turn? It's not but on every crisis. It's not on every card, crisis card. So it's, it's like problem. a one. Or it's like a two and three chance, approximately. Mm -hmm. right. I don't actually. I, yeah. haven't looked up, I don't know, but it's about. Okay, it. so so there's there's a good chance before it gets back around to game phase killer, we're gonna be jumped. Right. There's an. You're right. Uh, yeah. Because. Okay, but it's but. On, the jump so icon's on maybe like two thirds of the cards, or right. bet somewhere between half and two thirds of the cards. Uh, okay, okay. So, um, what's the consequence if we don't? If we I don't mean, jump? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so is, is like a crisis card in the deck going to be like base star? If there's a base star, do you get, you know, yes. negative five population or, or something? No. Well, well, they some can of them, fire on your they ship. They can fire on your they ship. They can launch yeah. more raiders, which go straight for the civilian ships. Okay. They can um, launch more heavy raiders, and the heavy raiders can move and board our ship. All of okay. that happens. On how how long before we like feasibly face negative consequences? Well, it depends on the crisis cards also, because sometimes the crisis cards have an activate raiders, which move the raiders around the board towards the ci civilian ships. Sometimes there's one that uh, that has the base star attacking Galactica. Mm -hmm. uh, and then sometimes there's a heavy raider icon, which means the heavy raider moves closer. Uh, and there's a certain percentage chance the heavy raider moving. It's pretty low, is right? It's pretty low, yeah. yeah. The the regular raiders moving to the civilian ships is pretty high, and then the base star actually attacking us is probably about the same as the heavy raider moving. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not quite as high as the Cylon raiders. I think that's the most frequent symbol is that the Cylon raiders will move. And how many how many turns do we or how many jump cards do we need before we auto jump? Is four. it four? Mm -hmm. We need to Left. see that symbol four times. Yeah. Yeah. In the bottom right. Before we auto jump, we can jump earlier, mm -hmm. and that's usually. I would recommend not jump okay. earlier on the negative three, but on yeah. the negative one, uh, it's is, generally okay. So, it, and does that affect like our distance? No. So it doesn't affect your distance at all. It, what it affects is so you get there. You get to jump a turn or maybe two earlier, and you have to sacrifice some population. So Possibly. Po it's a, possibly. 20, it's it's a, a die roll. Yeah, it's a 20% okay. right. chance. Mm -hmm. So, and okay. of course, if your population goes down to zero, you lose, but, you know, if you're swarmed by Cylons, you also lose. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And if you jump enough, we win? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. So okay. what happens after the end of a jump is, or so you say, I'm going to jump, somebody has to go to FTL control and actually make it happen. Mm -hmm. Um if you're jumping early, you roll to lose population, possibly. And then uh, the Admiral, right, draws a card, or draws two cards? The Admiral yeah. draws two cards mm -hmm. and chooses between them. And the thing is, is the distance on any card is between one and three. Ones are generally pretty safe. Threes are awesome because it gets you there faster, but they, yeah, also, they also are like minus two fuel or destroy something like they're pretty damaging to you mm -hmm. so it's, it's a trade-off mm -hmm. and the admiral gets to choose so. the admiral does get to choose and nobody else sees the cards right, right. Hence, so if the admiral's a cylon we are kind of game, trouble. game over <laughs> she's probably it's, a cylon it's really yeah. hard <laughs> i'm, I'm calling it now <laughs> i'm not a cylon mm -hmm. that's so oh, convincing I'm, cylon I, uh, I'm not even gonna try i'm not even gonna try uh so, in other words, I should for ba back to weapons control. Mm -hmm. Did we decide if I should try to attack the raider or the base star? Raider. Yeah, I think so. I think you got a, a you know. I can boost five your, out of yeah. Yeah, you got I, can, I can boost it by two. It. So will it destroy it if I get the if I get it? Yeah, yeah. If it'll you get, destroy if you it. Get the raider, it will destroy. It, yeah, there are. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so, 
Is somebody going to play that card? That... Yeah. So I'm gonna, does anybody else have, have a strategic planning? Oh, you're hitting the heavy raider. Check. <coughs> it's a purple card. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, right? Hitting the heavy yeah. raider. Heavy oh, sorry, I thought you were saying regular raider. Or do you I... think that it's... No, if he's got a card, that would be great. Yeah. I... Why else? You do? No. Okay, all right. Well, in that case, I'm going to... So Why wouldn't you use yours? Gilly. Well, you'll see. So I'm using mine. It's high value. Um, um, so, But I'll use mine to add two so that we can kill that heavy strategic raider. Strategic planning is almost always four. Yeah. Oh, it's really? Because oh, okay. it's, uh, it's one of the rare cards out of the deck. And it's mm. worth... Yeah, it's obviously a very valuable really card good. to use during so the So that's rolls. why it's, it's like a trade-off to get wow. against it. Wow. Holy crap. That's so now I have to get yeah, a five... Yeah, you have no, five. Uh, a six, five yeah. or higher. Mm -hmm. Five or higher. Okay. Oh my god! Click that button. Yeah! yeah. Yes. Wow. We didn't even need it. <laughs> Alright, nope. so destroyed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're good. now yeah. free of the heavy raider. The yeah. danger. Thanks, Cylon. <laughs> okay, so now we're on the uh, crisis crisis step. So we got a new crisis card. Okay, where's are you putting it in the? I can. Oh um no uh, or okay. <laughs> okay, water shortage. There's about a million of these. We're short on water. So for this, the president is going to have to choose. So this is one thing that's tough for the president. We can either subtract one food, or the president discards two skill cards, and then I have to discard three skill cards as the current player. Um, so. Giddy, it's up to you. Well, we've we haven't lost any food yet. I don't yeah. I don't know which would be worse. Well, we only have eight right food now. altogether, but it doesn't go down that often. Yeah, it's not really one, and the skill cards. Skill cards that, that five skill cards is pretty valuable. It's pretty rough, especially since it's some it's from the first player as well, mm -hmm. because right. then that takes they really can't vote very much for an entire round. So okay, I definitely say that then we're gonna have to lose some food. Okay, okay, okay. So, I agree. So I decrease the that's, food. That's a fine choice, Madam President. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> That's why you voted me in. <laughs> Quit hitting on her. <laughs> so, <laughs> so on the bottom left, oh, there oh, was. Oh, I a, did it again. Okay, okay, I'm gonna let you handle that's the okay. cards. All right. So on the bottom left, we see a raider icon, which means that the raiders move toward the civilian ships. Uh, oh, and sorry, I don't think we, I don't think we mentioned this. The reason that it's bad that the civilian ships are being targeted is on the back of each one. If the ship is destroyed by raiders um, attacking it, uh, on the back of each one, when it's destroyed, you flip it over and it reduces something on your on those dials. So like Most it can of the be time it's population, right, one or but, two population. Yeah. Occasionally it is food or fuel, but that's really rare. There's like one each in the thing. Yeah. I'm assuming there's also a morale hit for losing yes. civilian ships. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, yeah. There's a morale ship. It's the uh, brothel counters ship. counters ever go up? Yeah. The, the brothel <laughs> ship? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the counters... The counters that's what Cylons are for. It happens very, very <laughs> rarely. There's something you can do to uh, make the dials go up. There are some president cards that allow for you to give us more food, possibly. Yeah. Oh, and okay. I was going to mention, uh, Madam President, that if you uh, look at your president card, I believe you get to draw a quorum card to begin the game. I think it says at the beginning of the game you can draw one quorum card. Um, I have once per game draw four quorum cards. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. it's actually the... It's on the... It's on your president card, the looking, little card? Yeah, that's, oh, that's on, your actual character sheet. I think it's... Oh, yeah, it's little, oh, little on my president card. Yeah. Let me zoom in here. It's yeah. hiding from me. <laughs> You start the game with one quorum card in your hand. You control the hand of quorum cards. Okay. So if you want to get to your quorum cards, uh, you click on the cards button at the top, and then quorum is one of the options, and then you can draw the ones from there. Those are your presidential powers cards. So I draw it and put it in my player, player window. Mm -hmm. window. Mm -hmm. Now, um, oh. That usually has some kind of action you can do on your turn. 
okay, is this a secret? Do I keep this yes. to myself? Yeah. yeah. Okay. In case you're a Cylon. Exactly. So the other nice thing about this card is at the bottom right we have a jump icon, which means we can move the jump track up one. Yes. And that is... We're well on our way. Exactly. That's uh, just right. what a Cylon would say. <laughs> I'm missing where the jump track is. Uh, if you look at the top of the board below the uh, dials... Okay. That's a good uh, question anyway, because I should show the people at home. The jump preparation track is right below the dials to the right, the lower right. Okay. How do we know so how far we are? You see the little black box with the ships on it? That's where we are right now. It's oh, in the, it's in the very middle. Yeah. So if we move three more, we auto jump. Um, okay. But once we get to those two blue squares to the right of us, we can start possibly risking a jump early. Mm -hmm. okay. So we've got to wait one more. Yeah, one more. Progress. We can possibly jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. All right. So player three. So who? Okay. Um, so what's uh, remind me of the, oh, the no. order again? Yeah, no problem. So the first thing you do is you're going to draw cards, skill cards, okay. equal to the number and color on of the what I've got on my exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. So I get two politics cards. Mm -hmm. One leadership card. Right. And one engineering. Exactly. Is that okay. what's on your character card? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Now your choice is now basically you do a movement and an action, and your action can come from the car those cards you just drew that say action on them. They can come from your character sheet, or you can move to one of the rooms on the ship and do the action that's on there. So those are kind of your choices. Hmm. So there's about a billion choices, in other words. One thing <laughs> to note, well, first of all, you do if you do have an um, executive order, um, <clears throat> you can make someone uh, or have someone either move and take an action, which is pretty silly because it's the same thing that you could do, or you could have someone um, take two actions if they're in the place that you already like. One thing to note is the communications um, location on the ship, that room, is nice for where we are now because if you notice we don't really have any vipers protecting our civilian ships so it's possibly you could move you get to look at two and then possibly move them so uh, you yeah, could we'll look at them and then move them to where our viper is our uh, um the unmanned viper yeah the unmanned viper <laughs> and that okay. would be a good um mm, place yeah. to go i think that's a good idea yeah go to calm oh is there a plug in there should be um there's a Oh, yeah, a power strip. Yeah, no problem. Sorry, we're having plug-in <laughs> power issues. More technical difficulties today? No way. No, you don't say <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> um, the so, other thing you could do is if you want to blow up uh, raiders, you could do that. Um, it's kind of up oh, to you. Control. If you'd rather, I would yeah. Say, I would say go to calm. Calm and then perform the action in calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because yep. that will let you look at both of these uh, civilian ships on the right. Okay. Right. I then... will. Actually, hang on. Did I did do I take the action at for... the research lab? Yeah. No. At the start of the turn, or is it, no, you... it, it that consumes yeah. an action? Yeah. That consumes your yeah. action. And th but those are so nice. I know. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough choice. <laughs> Unless you're a Cylon. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's no. It's a tough choice if you're a Cylon, I think, because yeah. uh, clearly it's not the time to be drawing cards. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Um, all right, so let's take a look. Um, right. Oh, so to look at them, you might want to pull I them I up. have to flip them. Right, but you want to pull them to your, your player hand window hurt. first, because you don't want us to know what you see. Yeah. yeah. So you okay. Drag um, your Cylon. Pull, pull it to my player window. Yeah, just click and drag right. it over to your player window. Right. Uh okay. Give me give me a second. <laughs> no problem. Uh this seems okay. Oh, okay, got it. And then once you're in your player window, you can right click and f and flip them and see what symbol. The symbols will match the symbols underneath the dial. Like morale looks like a two wings. Population okay. looks like three silhouettes of people. Okay. Um <clears throat> And then don't forget so, to flip it back down before you put it back. 
Okay. And you can either tell us or lie to us if you're a Cylon. Huh. Well. Let's see. Um, so I, I see that one. Uh, that one's fuel. Um, this one is... Um, wait, what is... Oh, uh, population. Mm -hmm. um, and and does the number of the symbol indicate yeah, anything? Yeah, if you see two sets of three people together, that means we're going to lose two population if that ship's destroyed. That's exactly what that is. So uh, Both of those sound pretty nuts. Fuel is usually used so that we can jump further with each right. jump. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so if we, the less that. overall fuel that we have, the less distance we go with each jump. Is, right. yes. is that what I'm hearing? Generally, okay. yeah. So okay. you want to move them away from the the raiders. Okay. Um, all right. So I will move these guys over to our... So, and I... Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move them over to hang out with our <laughs> red shirt oh, pilot dog. over here. And, yep. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and... Uh, so I guess that's that's my action. Mm -hmm. um, I now need to draw from the crisis deck. Is that correct? Yep. And I'll go ahead and draw the card. Okay. All right. Woo. All right. Fulfiller of prophecy. So it's a skill check. Six if is what the, we need to get to. If the current oh, player right. chooses, yeah. So the current player can choose. We can do a skill check, or. The current player discards one skill card. After the activate Cylon ship step, return to the resolve crisis st step. So we'll have to draw a new cr crisis card. Oh, resolve. no. That doesn't Ooh. sound very... Wow, that sounds, like, terrible. What the hell? Yeah, because both the base Yeah, considering the, the check is not that bad. I mean, we don't want to be just yeah, losing our there. population so, all the time. But Oh, and does the base star yeah. fire? Yes. Is that the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the that's going to be rough. Galactica. Because we're probably going to lose, we'll lose one if we, spot on our ship. Yeah, if we lose FTL control, we're, that would be bad. Boned. Completely, like 100% boned. No, so, we do have we can't some... can't repair it, right? You can. There, there okay. is somebody who has engineering, correct? Yes. Yeah, I have engineering. Oh, um, good. <laughs> well, someone could executive order you to fix it, mm -hmm. possibly. Um, all right, so then the check is, if we want to do that... The current player draws one politics skill card if we pass. If we fail, we lose one population. It's only six, and it counts for politics and leadership count mm -hmm. toward it. So only so, green and yellow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tactics, piloting, and engineering will all be in the negative. Who has, who has green and yellow? I can contribute a pretty good amount. Rosalind. Um, I have awesome. green and yellow. Okay, I, I've got some as well. Uh, um, okay, let's, let's do it. Um, all right. Okay. So, so, we, we, so yeah, we start with Game Face Killer, I'm assuming? Uh, no, no, we actually, actually start with you. Player. Yeah, since you're oh, okay. the current right. player, yeah. And I will add right. the two Destiny cards. So okay. you decide if there's any you want to put in. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll, I'll put one in. Um... <laughs> Okay, so move to skill check. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, done. Mm -hmm. All right. Now okay. it's me? Yes. You're up. So. Okay. And so green and yellow right. cards count as positive, so whatever you want to put in. All right. Looks like she put in one. You put in another? I'm finished. Okay. okay. I haven't had a turn. I haven't had a chance to draw anything. Yeah, that's true. Yet. So yeah, yeah. I, Matt only put in one. Or yeah. sorry, new face. Yep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> one from new face. One from kitty. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put in one. Okay. Um, move to skill check, right? Yes. Okay. All right. So I can either contribute or I could help us out if we didn't quite make it. What do you guys think? I think, I think you should uh, help us out contribute. if you didn't, didn't yeah. quite make it. Hang on to your card. Okay. I'll okay. put in one. I can put in one. I don't know if we're going to need it. I mean, it's, it's a very low. Yeah, but red. remember that red counts against, and those cards are always really high, so if we get one from the Destiny deck, uh, we've already had one, one red from the Destiny deck, so it's mm -hmm. 
possible we won't have it, but I I don't know. I I don't know. I think the the penalty for completely failing this one isn't that bad. And... I don't really trust you to be honest, because I'm kind of convinced you're a Cylon. <laughs> oh, so... yeah. yeah. Well, let's just let's just see how this plays out. Let's yeah. see. Oh, the else? Are starting. Do you want me to oh, put in? Carl's the Cylon, huh? I am not no, a I think Cylon. You're the Cylon. I think you're the Cylon. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm the president. Statistics. Statistically speaking, it's <laughs> much far, far more likely that Noobface is a Cylon because he gets two, he gets one extra card. Exactly. He also okay. said earlier that he loves Cylons. No. Oh. He said that to me. I, no, but I think I, he only I, meant I, physically. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 what do you, what do you guys want me to do? Just card or no card? Hang on to your card. Huh? I mean, hang on to your card. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about it. <sighs> yeah. We always it's overshoot, thick. right? Usually we, we do overshoot. overshoot okay. Lot, so let's, yeah. let's try. You can the try risky. playing this this game with trying not to overshoot. Plus, the, yeah, okay. and plus, game face can help us out if yes. you know we don't make it. So yeah. I'm fairly sure we're gonna make. Okay. It. Yeah. It's only three versus two. All right, we got a positive one. Okay. Um, I just had my screen freeze. I think that we have at least one Cylon We've already. Got three total positive. Mm -hmm. We've got another, so we've got seven, so we're seven. winning right now. Okay, good. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. What did I tell you? Card that's negative, oh, so we're back down three. to seven. So we had so. ten minus three is seven, so we made it. Who called it? So the current player Hi. gets to draw... <laughs> oh, right. Not yeah. a Cylon. The current oh. player gets to draw one politics skill, skill card. Cool, so that's me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will draw a card... And then the uh, the activate Cylon step. Unfortunately, the base star fires on Galactica. Uh, but let's see here. With a base star, someone has to roll the die. If it's a four through eight, the the Galactica is hit. So, game face killer and ogre should not roll because they always roll. Ogre always rolls high, and game face killer always rolls okay. high. Let, let me roll. Kay. Okay. Um, so I just click the the one d eight button. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Is everybody ready for this? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Was that a hit? Yeah, a I thought you said it hit on three. Four through four through eight. Yeah. Uh, Cylon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so we what? draw. Why isn't that bad of a hit though? Yeah. Vassal's a Cylon. <laughs> <laughs> so I draw one random damage token. Okay. And it looks like command has been hit, so we can't use the command action until someone repairs it. Uh, that's which not is the not worst. Too bad. Yeah, so yeah that's, that's that's okay. We still this want to repair it, but yeah. it's not the worst. And unfortunately, there is no jump track icon, so we have to skip the Poop. prepare for jump. Yeah. Mm. So now it is, I believe, Kitty's turn, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think, think it's I think my turn. Yeah. Yep. So I the first thing the, you do is draw cards. Uh, and I draw the cards on my character card. Right. So yours will be um, three politics and two leadership. God, be really so interesting. cards on my thing now. I know. They can pile up after a while. Okay. Now they are piling up. What do I do next? Do I am can, I supposed to move somewhere? You can move somewhere if you want, or if you want to just stay where you are, you can um, you can just stay where you are and not have to get rid of a card. Like if you want to move off of Colonial One, you would have to discard a card if you move to Galactica. Um, okay. You can always stay where you are and do your Quorum card, or you can do uh, one of your skill cards that says action, or something on your character sheet that says action. Or you can do an action that's on the board, like you've got some stuff you can do on your... Yeah, there's special stuff you can do on Colonial One. Yeah. Like you can, if you're in the press room, you can draw two political cards. Um, if you're the president in you know, the room that you're in, you get to draw a quorum card and then you can either draw another one or play one. That's pretty good. So if you have some good quorum cards that could help I think us I out. might do that. Yeah, okay. I, think the, I think the quorum cards are like really yeah. good and your special thing, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I like hanging out in my own presidential office. Yeah. So. Oh, I see how it is. You don't have to, uh, don't have to mix with the little people, the commoners. Exactly, the commoners. Okay, so I 
Do I click cards to draw the quorum card? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then whichever quorum card you can either draw as your action, then you can draw an additional one, or you can just play one from your hand, and if you play one you can just drop it on the board. And we can uh, see what it is. I that is not a useful card right now, so I can draw another one if mm -hmm. I'm not going to use one. Correct? Right, right. Okay. All right. So that's that part of my turn? Yep. Mm -hmm. So now we do the crisis phase, so I'll draw the next crisis card. J uh, Gilly, did you want to... Sorry. <laughs> the <laughs> chat chatting. kept blowing right. up. Okay. Everybody's Loss lost. of a friend... Oh, and it's a quote by me, William and Donna. Um, so it's another check. Mm -hmm. Same colors as last one, but the number we want to get to is nine. Um, pass, there will be no effect. If we get seven or higher, the current player discards two skill cards. So we won't lose something, but they will have to discard the skill cards, which is kind of sucky. If we fail, we'll lose a morale, and they have to discard the skill cards. Uh, and morale. Yeah. What? Who said eh? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I said okay. Oh no! I'm. It's not hard I'm to just pass. Basing my. Oh yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> it's it's not hard to pass. But hard morale, to pass. I will I will morale say that morale typically is how I see the most losses in this game. I think. Um, yeah, which is I would weird because it's one of the higher. Um, Starting dials. Yeah, yeah, but, like, but everything affects it. So. Everything affects morale, yeah. which, I mean, makes sense because this show is kind of, you know, everyone's depressed, they're trying to survive, and shit keeps happening to them. That would affect anyone's morale, so it's very right. realistic, but um, that's the they one that we want to kind of... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no more robot sex. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead, I guess, and so we'll start with Kitty. I put the destiny cards in. Okay. Okay. And you said if if you have more than one of the same card, you have to play the lowest. You don't numbered? have to play either. Nope. You can um, play whichever well, ones you want. You have if your you choice. If you chose oh, okay. to, yeah. And it would be better to play the one with the higher point value because if it contributes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But yeah. Well, if I if we get more than seven, I have to discard two cards. That's true. You'll have to discard no, no, no. two cards. It's so if we get so if we get between okay. seven and nine, oh, yeah. or seven oh, or eight. Okay. Sorry, if we get seven or eight, then you have. I to start. see. Now. If we get nine or higher, then you don't. Yeah, no, no one has to do anything. Yeah. Well then, I will make some contributions. It's interesting playing this game on Basel instead of mm -hmm. in person. It's the first time I've ever played it on Basel, mm -hmm. and you can't read people's facial expressions. I know. Which is difficult. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you can look on Skype, though. Like, you know, I'm can... trying not to do that. Wow. I, guess. Mm -hmm. I guess I should do that more. Well, I don't know. I just feel like... Yeah, it makes it interesting for sure. The only person we can't see is Game yes. Face, so I'm I'm <laughs> that's that. That's because he's a robot. Well, can you oh, hear my hands or ringing? Or a vampire. <laughs> yeah, right. ringing my hands maniacally. Hmm. Can you hear that? Okay, well I'm <laughs> finished contributing. Okay, all right. I, so then I it goes to Ogre. All right. Uh, I only have one card that I can that I in my entire hand, and it doesn't add that much. How how much do people think they can contribute to this? Is it a good card? It's a good card. It's a good card. I contributed a lot. Okay. Okay. I've, I've got a ton of cards. Don't worry about it. Because it's okay. definite. It's your turn next. Yeah. So. Remember. So. Right. Unless so actually, let's see where people are. The of the card, then. Uh, that was the plan. Point. Let me see where okay. people are though. Uh, we have someone at comms. You. So you're at weapons control. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, I see. That could be handy. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I'm gonna put your putting down. Okay, thanks. All right, so I'm not gonna contribute because I'm okay. going to be using this next turn. Okay. So then it's to me, right? Mm hmm Okay, so I can either hold on to my card that can help us if we just don't miss it, or if we miss it, uh, or I can contribute 
a pretty good amount. What do you guys think? Uh, let's see. Um, I plan on... <laughs> I can contribute some. Okay. What if you just contributed some and not necessarily your whole hand, like a bit? If we all just okay. contributed a bit, I guess, because I think Kitty said she put in quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because she doesn't want to lose the parts. Right. <laughs> right. I'll put. I'll put. What did I just click? Oh. Uh, I will pick one. Okay. So I'll play one. All right, it's my turn then. Yep. Uh, skill check. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not destiny deck. Right. So we've got six in there now. Mm -hmm. And I'm. Am I the last one? No. No. Noob is the last one. He said he had quite a bit. Also. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then I'm gonna. I'll stick with my. Mm -hmm. Some. Contribution. Okay. Um, I need to run to the restroom. Game face killer, can you resolve yep. the? No okay. problem. Okay. Has all right. So how how much has been contributed to this? Uh, six I mean, total cards. Two are from the Destiny deck. So four from us. Four cards uh, total from us. Mm. If there are two or three, I'm guessing. If we have two, then we are, we could be up to eight. But the Destiny deck could mess us up too. Okay. Um. All right, so I need to I need to play it safe here and play something rather large. Probably, yeah. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, done. Okay. All right, so that is everyone, right? Yep. Okay. So here we have the cards flipping over. So we've got a positive three so far, and now we're up to five. Now we're up to 10. Wow. 11. Oh, now back down to 10. Now back up to 11. <laughs> 12, 13, 14. So we clearly beat that. Yes. Uh, so no bad effects. But we always... Uh, uh, heavy Raider moves, though. Oh, yep. right. For the skill check, anyway. Yeah. So the Heavy Raider... Uh, there is, if there is no Heavy Raiders on the board, you have to add one. Ah, oh. yeah. <laughs> so we have another way in, but we are closer to jumping this time. I don't think we have to worry about it as much. That's true. And we do have a jump icon, so we are yes. now within the Spring area where we range. can right. We can risk it, but I would say we should maybe wait one more. We're we're not taking any significant damage or yeah. anything. We should yeah. We should keep yeah. waiting. So uh, so that is the end of player four. So now we're ready for all right. Helos time. Helos. So, exciting I turn. Yes, my exciting turn where I get to do nothing. Yeah. Because it, that is my stranded effect. I yeah. I'm not placed on the game board and I may not uh, move, be moved, or take actions. Right. So yeah, it, in the series you're stuck on Caprica, right? right yeah. Like so as a consolation, you get to uh, get it on with uh, Boomer. Helena. Oh, yeah. Yep. Boomer. So I'm gonna draw some. Uh, Draw some skills here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, get a couple of leadership. Um, just FYI, we have a request from chat to What's say that? frack more. Oh, okay. <laughs> frack. So frack, if you could frack. frack and get on with your not frack and turn, I'd be really uh, frack and appreciative. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I do right. believe we still do the crisis step for your face. We your do. Turn, yeah. Someone's a big fan of oil and gas. <laughs> that was, that was awful. I know. Fracking awful. <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. All right. Uh, I I bang robots. I I don't have shame. <laughs> you have nothing left to lose. <laughs> he lost that along. Yeah. <laughs> that All right. yeah. So. All right. Yeah, crisis card. card. All right. So crisis card. All right. Rescue Caprica survivors. The Cylons have a plan for Caprica, but they haven't killed everyone. I think our first order of business has to be planning a rescue mission back to Caprica. Yeah, it's my girl, Kara Thrace. Uh, uh, so the president, so the president gets to choose mm -hmm. 
Whoa! Is that a minus seven? No. No, no one. Oh. <laughs> Thank minus you. one <laughs> fuel, <laughs> minus one food, and then plus 